During the Great Depression of the 1930s, existing economic theory was unable either to explain the causes of the severe worldwide economic collapse or to provide an adequate public policy solution to jumpstart production and employment. Hey guys, welcome to Ecoholics Explained. Today let's talk about Keynesian economics. British economist John Maynard Keynes spearheaded a revolution in economic thinking that overturned then prevailing idea that free markets would automatically provide full employment. Keynes argued that inadequate overall demand could lead to prolonged periods of high unemployment. An economy's output of goods and services is the sum of four components – consumption, investment, government purchases and net exports. Any increase in demand has to come from one of these four components. But during recession, strong forces often dampen demand as spending goes down. For example, during economic downturns, uncertainty often erodes the consumer confidence, causing them to reduce their spending, especially on voluntary purchases like buying a house or a car. This reduction in spending by consumers can result in less investment spending by the businesses as firms respond to weak demand for their products. This puts the task of increasing the output on the shoulders of the government. According to Keynesian economics, state intervention is necessary to moderate the booms and busts in the economic activity. To sum up, the central tenet of this school of thought is that the government intervention can stabilize the economy and aggregate demand is the most important driving force in an economy.